by far the best Corvette ever made here. I'll go on record saying that. At least, um, appearance-wise. I don't know about, like, performance or anything like that. I don't know the stats. I assume it's better than its predecessors. And I assume it'll be just as reliable as them. I don't really know, but... I guess only time will be able to tell that one. But it is the best-looking Corvette ever made. And the Stig is gone, dude. I cheated. I just pit-maneuvered him right into a wall. He is still stuck? Oh, my God. No way. I'm about to lap the Stig. I am about to lap the Stig, dude. He does not know how to reverse. The Stig never goes backwards. He only goes forwards. Look at this. This is hilarious. Oh, he's back. He got back on the road. Oh, man. What am I doing? Hang on. Hang on. I want to catch up to him. I was really hoping he'd be stuck there. I wanted to just drive up next to him, kind of park, see what he was up to. can't believe that pit maneuver was that effective, man. That was crazy. That's hilarious, dude. I almost am about to lap the Stig. The legendary Stig is about to get lapped by yours truly. How embarrassing it must be to be him. Granted, I totally cheated, I'm not gonna lie. That was a pretty dirty move, but you know what? All is fair in love and war and racing, in video games at least. Oh, come on, Stiggy, get back here. Alright, basically now the challenge is just can I lap him? I actually can't because the finish line's right up here. Man, I didn't get to lap him, but I got pretty dang close. I got, that should be an achievement, lapping the Stig. If I could have actually pulled that off, you know how crazy that would have been? You know what, Stiggy boy, I'm going to win this race in reverse. Just for you, baby. Alright, if I can drive in reverse. <laughs> no. <laughs> I freaking turned around right at the last second. I did not mean to do that. That reverse was not good. It's probably going full throttle. And I got an achievement. Lead for a total of 50 miles. Wow, okay. I thought I was going to get one for beating the Stig, but I guess that works too. <laughs> I can't believe I just beat the Stig. <laughs> All because I totally cheated. Oh, Stiggy Poo. That's funny. Alright, well. Continue with the career here. Your oh, this is the last race of the set. Seca Raceway, named for the dry lake bed it is built on. Uh-huh. This is a pretty popular racetrack here. I've actually heard of this one. I have, I have. And I don't really follow any kind of motorsports. Really, to be honest, I don't follow any. Super Street Volume U.S. Tour. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Or Seca. Seca, Seca. Probably should have listened to how they pronounced it, but... Oh, well. I beat the Stig. I can surely beat all you chump diggities. No problemo. Let's see how this works out. Come on, Skittles. We can do it. We can do it, Skittles. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. About to wrap up this series with a big old fat W. A big old W. See if I can get around them. No, okay, I'm being pulled off into the ditch here. Oh man, you're gonna push me off the track, buddy old pal? I'll take the inside. Man, they're racing dirty too. Oh man, why does that keep happening? I wish my car would stop doing that. I just like decides it wants to get grip all of a sudden and just really screws me over. It really does. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, watch out. Coming through. Racing dirty. I pit maneuvered the Stig. You think I can't take you out, buddy old pal? Well, that's where you're wrong. Just kidding, because that totally didn't work at all. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. Let's go. Well, this is a good little stretch here. Too bad that did not give me any ground at all, really. Alright, second gear is where we need to be. This track is a little difficult, actually. A little bit difficult. Let's see, what am I in? 12th place? That's not gonna do. If these freaking guys would get out of my way. Jeez, no respect. Why won't they just move over and let me pass them? It's not like we're racing or anything. Come on, get out of here, buddy. Come on, buddy. 
Oh, hold it together. Hit the freaking neon. There we go. The SRT4 or whatever you want to call it. Same freaking thing. Ah, come on. Move out of the way, sir. Man, the freaking sand everywhere. Alright, we need to downshift. There we go. Uh-oh. Looking at a sandstorm. A sandstorm. I don't think we had any rainy races during this. Man, that was bad. I need to rewind that. That's not going to cut it. Are you kidding me? That amateur driving. Okay, there we go. That's better. We got three laps for this race. All right, I got two laps to catch up to those guys. I think I can do it. I believe. Let me just pass this guy on the outside there. Ooh, man, I almost got a little liftoff going there. That could have been crazy. Good thing I got mad downforce, even though I don't even have a giant spoiler. How am I supposed to get all this downforce with no giant spoiler, man? I need, like, an STI spoiler. Excuse me. Oh, man, come on. Come on. Let's go, car. Gotta keep it together. I am not getting any ground driving like this. None whatsoever. Come on. Mothers, polish, wax, and cleaners. Oh boy. Let's go second gear. Climb this hill. Get to chugging up the hill. Come on, car. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Oh! Okay, came in too hot there. Did not expect him to stop so abruptly. So we're gonna try this again. This time not hitting him. There we go, making a nice clean pass. On to the next one here. Come here, buddy. Oh, I hate this. I hate this corner because I always feel like, or that hill, because I always feel like there's gonna be a tight corner right around that hill and that would be super dirty if there was and you couldn't even see it coming. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see if I can. Yeah, keeping it together, perfect turn. This turn is a biatch. Yes, it is. But, you know, I didn't do too shabby there, actually. Focused all my energy on that turn. And we got one lap left. I'm in the lead, pulling away from the crowd. That just means I have no one to bounce off of on these corners, so I actually have to take them at correct speeds. Which I don't know how I feel about that. There we go. Let's just uh, fly on through here, boys. Okay, that was a little too fast. A little too fast, drifted a little bit, got the tail end out. Always fun, but not always good. Luckily, I got a perfect turn that time. Shazam! Back here, okay. Applying the brakes, doing a little downshifting. Pretty good, now let's climb up the hill. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Doing pretty good here. All right, more brakes. Good, good through there. Yes, this is going better than I just had expected. Okay, crazy blind hill. And now we're going through this little snake downhill part. Didn't quite nail that like I wanted to, but it worked. We made it through it. All right. Somehow that was a perfect turn. I don't know if I agree with that game. That did not feel perfect and under my standards, but... You know, I guess I just have higher standards in the game. That was another perfect turn, dude. I'm nailing these turns, man. Oh, no, not this turn. I hate this turn. Oh, come on. We're not letting it fall apart here at the end. We're not doing it. We're going across this line. We're going to win this race. Yes, we are. Hey, looky, looky there. Line perfection. Bronze. I don't know what that means, but I got it. I got all kinds of badges. All kinds. Eh, I want to spin. Yes. 
What do I got here? Cars. Ooh, man. Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Let's try for that SUV. I kind of want that. It's not even on the list anymore. Ah, I got the Bentley Continental GT. I'll take it. I'll take that. Leveled up again. Continue. Well done. You completed the series. Yeah, I did. Got all these series done. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. Congratulations. You've mastered the performance of Agile Sporty Vehicle. Oh man, we're moving now, on. Compete with the very best example of sports car icons. We are moving on to the sport icons. All right, cool. Oh, hey, I got a spin. Nothing really awesome to win here, but I hope I get the Jag. Do I get the Jag? I got the Jag! What? Oh, I already have the car. Okay. <laughs> I was about to be real upset. All right, well, I still won the most amount of money you could win by 10 grando, so I guess that works too. I guess that's okay. I'll deal with it. Deal with it the way I dealt with Carly Jefferson. LOL. Now we're on to sport icons, huh? Well, it's a sport sedan for business people. An SUV that has way more power than you need for the school run. Or a lightweight, purpose-built track day car. You'll find it here. Every car in this eclectic group represents the very best of its breed. They're the very top of the tree. Some of these are pumped-up versions of everyday cars, bursting with power and often bulging at the seams. From classic 60s muscle to more modern sports cars, each car here truly represents the best driving experiences of their era. And, with the exception of the more extreme track toys, they show how far you can push a daily driver without sacrificing the comfy seats, soundproofing, and room for the whole family. <laughs> room for here, the whole family, you'll huh? Take on the thrill and challenge of racing at Ooh, night. Nightfall Visibility series. is limited, and cooler temperatures affect how tires grip the track. That seems fun. All right. Modern Sport Legends, Ultimate Sport Machines, Executive Heavyweight Track Toys, Historic American Muscle, Sport Utility Juggernaut. Man, all of these seem like they're going to be really fun. I think I'm going to start out with... Let's go with the Ultimate Sport Machine first. The sort Just of kinda... machines that, in the old days, would have emerged from secret skunk works. Cars made by special departments and in-house tuners with motorsport expertise and a stash of weapons-grade parts. All of these machines push the limits of the models on which they're based, which means that, for most companies, these are the fastest cars they make. Full stop. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. What do I want to drive? I have two of these, man. Well, they are the best. Oh, no, I got a 650 here. 650 in that M5. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or I could buy a car. Let's see. Let's see what options I have as far as buying a car goes, because I don't know what I want to drive yet. It's a hard decision here. Oh, the Hellcat would be nice. That would be fun. That would be fun. The heck? Why is... Oh, that's the uh, the four-cylinder one, I guess. I don't know. I, I assume so. 350R? I think that's what that is. The Shelby GT500. Oh, snap. Look at these bad boys. Look at all these cars. The Avora S. That is a nice car. I might go with the... Uh, oh, man. Do I want the Avora S or do I want, man, the Hellcat would be sweet too. That would be sweet. There's a lot of decisions here. Da -da 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 -da. That handling is very poor though. Very poor. What's this guy? This has got pretty good, pretty good all around. I think I'm going to go with the Avora S, you know, I haven't drove a Lotus yet. I think this is what I'm going to buy. About to commit. Are there any cool skins for it? Probably not. 
What? <laughs> no, okay. Hail Satan. That's a little extreme. It's a little bit extreme there. Forza, I don't know what kind of message you're trying to send to people. I'm, I just want like a cool color shift. 